Hello, boys and girls. It's Pastor Michelle, and we are on the go, traveling the world, learning the names of God. But first, let's stand up, raise our hands, and get ready for praise and worship. You ready? Here we go.
Hello, Jet. It looks like you and your travel buddies are ready to go on a high-flying adventure. While we're on the go, you need to follow the two rules. The first rule is to be kind. Jet, can you and your travel buddies say, be kind? Be kind! That's it! You can be kind by listening when others are talking. If you can be kind by listening, let me see you click on your listening ears with me. Click. 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 You got it! Rule number two is to be safe. You can be safe by keeping your hands and feet to yourself. If you can be safe, let me see you clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. Let's do it together. Clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. We're all set to go. Today we're going to fly over to some ancient pyramids. In the desert, you won't see a lot of water, but you will see lots of sand, some prickly plants, and tall triangle buildings called pyramids. So have your cameras ready to take pictures. And if you do some digging, there's also a special souvenir to remind you of what you learn while you're here. Let me know when you find it. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's crank up the helicopter and get on the go. Everyone, spin your arm above your head like the big propeller on the top of my chopper. And let me hear you repeat after me. In the chopper. In the chopper. We will fly. We will fly. In the chopper. In the chopper. On the go. On the go. Have fun taking pictures, and don't forget to find your special souvenir. Thank you boys and girls for joining us today. And wow, that was so much fun. Now in today's lesson, we're going to be traveling to Egypt and learning another name of God. That name is Healer. Today we are learning that God is our healer. So let's put on those listening ears. Click, click. And those special eyes. Zoom, zoom. Okay, now you're ready. Hello, travel buddies. I see you found a pyramid with a Band-Aid hiding inside. It's a special souvenir you can take with you to remind you that whenever you're hurting, God can heal you. You know, God has different names that remind us of who He is. One of the names for God is Healer. That's because God can make all kinds of hurts feel better. Let me tell you a story about when God healed a man whose legs were hurt. There once lived a man who couldn't walk. His good friends carried him to see God's son, Jesus, because they heard that Jesus was healing people who were sick and hurt. But when they got to where Jesus was, the house was too full. They couldn't even get in the door. They knew that God's son, Jesus, could heal their friend, so they found a way to get in. First, they climbed up on top of the house, let me see all my travel buddies pretend to climb. Then they started digging a hole in the roof. So let me see you pretend to dig. And stop. Good job. They kept digging until the hole in the roof was big enough for their friend to fit through. Then they lowered their friend down into the house right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw how hard the friends had worked, he knew they believed God was their healer. Jesus looked at the man who couldn't walk and said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Get up, take your mat and go home. On the count of three, let's all say, get up. One, two, three. Get, get up. up. That's it. The most amazing thing happened. All of a sudden, the man could walk. His legs weren't hurt anymore. 
Then the man, his friends, and many of the people in the house started praising God because they knew that God had healed the hurt man's legs. Oh, let's take a picture to remember that God is our healer. One, two, three, click. Good job, travel buddies. God heals all kinds of hurt. God healed the man so that he could walk. But God also healed his heart when Jesus forgave him for all the wrong things he had done. God is our healer too. Now let me hear you say this after me. God is... God is... My healer. My healer. That's it. You can remember that God is your healer every time you put on a band-aid or play with the pyramid you dug up here in Egypt. Boys and girls, this month we have a special way to learn our memory verse. Above me is a coloring page about the country we are visiting and the name of God we are learning. There's also a special patch that you can color and paste on your memory verse page. Collect all six with me. You can find this under the video tab on our website. Thank you boys and girls for joining us today. But before we say goodbye and we leave for the day, I would like to give you the opportunity to invite Jesus Christ in your heart. Let's just pray together and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I ask that you forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for any wrongdoing. Jesus, right now I invite you into my heart and I give you the praise in Jesus' name, amen. All right, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.